Now, a Melbourne woman has just been awarded a prestigious prize for her groundbreaking research into epilepsy. Professor Ingrid Schaeffer will travel to Paris next year to claim the Asia-Pacific L'Oreal UNESCO for Women in Science Laureate for 2012. Her research has transformed our understanding of epilepsy, its diagnosis and its genetic causes. Professor Ingrid Schaeffer is a paediatric neurologist at the University of Melbourne and she joins us now. Ingrid Schaeffer, good morning and congratulations. Thank you very much. Tell us about your work because it relates very specifically, doesn't it, to the, the genetic origins of, of epilepsy. That's right. Years ago I started this work in about 20 years ago and people thought epilepsy was due to a bump on the head or perhaps a brain tumour and people really didn't think genes played a big role. So and some sort of acquired brain injury. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. exactly. And then my work together with Professor Sam Berkovic and our research team at the Flory and University of Melbourne have shown that there are many different forms of epilepsy that have a genetic component. And so I'm a child neurologist and I study children and their families with epilepsy and look at the different types of epilepsy and have, that's led us to find numerous new forms of epilepsy. Is it exclusively genetic or are there still cases of epilepsy coming from that, as you say, bump on the head? It's not exclusively genetic. Uh, there are about a third of the epilepsies that are likely to be exclusively genetic, but other forms also have genetic components. Mm. So if there is a strong genetic component, it, it, once we know that and learn that, what can you actually do about that? <laughs> Well, you know, it helps at lots of levels. It helps in terms of understanding the biology of seizures and why you might get seizures and then allows basic scientists to take that the next step to figure out what's really going on. But for my patients, it's already had quite uh, an impact at a translational level. So it helps with diagnosis, um, to cement a diagnosis. It helps with choosing the best treatments. And it also helps with genetic counselling, so for families the risk of another child with yes. the same disorder, or the next generation. So has the Human Genome Project played a role in this? Have you been able to identify which chromosome or which marker is the indicator? Exactly. So the Human Genome has been, it's been a fantastic time to be doing genetic science. Of course. Because of the uh, new molecular techniques. And our work has really paralleled along the hum Human Genome Discovery uh, path. So initially we used to look at big families and do the linkage that you were talking about, look at markers, and then my molecular collaborators, Professor John Mully and uh, Leanne Dibbins in Adelaide, went on to look for the genes within the specific region. And in 1995, we found the first gene for epilepsy in the world, and now we've found about 13 of 23 known. Um, and then it's my job to take it back to the clinic and to help the patients and to use it that way. How difficult is it if one is diagnosed with, with epilepsy? How hard is it to go on and have a, a good and fulfilling life? Most people with epilepsy have a very fulfilling life, but it is a really tough disorder to live with because it impacts on everyday life. So uh, it's unpredictable and you don't know when you're going to have a seizure. So I think uh, it has a big impact on even on the most high functioning of people, but they, you can manage to run a very, very regular life. Wally Lewis is a good example in the media of that. And uh, the, the drugs that are available to treat it now, are they a lot better too as a result of research? Yes, they are, and they're improving over time. And what my hope is, and it's beginning to happen a little bit, is that when you find genes for epilepsy, we can develop targeted therapies specifically at those genetic changes. Well, look, we congratulate you again on that award, and um, thanks so much for the work that you do. Great. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you.